Now, the purpose of this video is twofold. One, I'm going to be doing an unboxing of a Canon SL3 DSLR uh, camera that I'm going to be using to replace my cell phone and I had been using for all of my previous videos and live streams. And secondly, we're going to be connecting the camera uh, using the Canon webcam utility to OBS, which is how I intend to be doing my live streams. Uh, before doing all of that, I want to give a special shout out to everyone who's contributed to my channel through the use of donations, super chats, memberships that are helping to make purchase of this camera and <laughs> all the rest of the equipment that I'm going to need to help make this channel a success. Now then, let's get to it. Now, as unboxings go, this is just a simple unboxing. Unless, of course, you're interested in buying a Canon SL3, in which case you're going to be a little bit more interesting what's inside the box, even if you've seen it several places before, several times before. So we're just going to get right into this part of it. First thing you're greeted with is something that says return policy, which goes on along with the invoice, which I'm not going to show you because it's got my address and stuff on it. However, your usual bubble wrap, which will be used elsewhere, and turn this around. Hey, huh? Open this up and let's move that out the way. Now, of course. The one that I've got is just the Canon body. It's not going to have the kit lens that comes with it because I wasn't going to spend an extra hundred dollars for a kit lens. Uh -uh. And it does specifically say in fine print, lens not included, blah, 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 blah. All right. In terms of the box itself, the usual stuff that you will never ever look at before. And again, usual specs. And let's see, contents. Digital camera, ESO, Rebel SO3, strap, battery charger, battery pack, interface cable not included. Huh, okay. Inside the box, we have more paperwork. Uh, for the limited warranty information, uh, I'll do that online, always do. Uh, the Rebel manual. Which of dang starts out? Is there another one? Nope. Starts out in Japanese. Oh, English. Just saw that page. So whereas English is normally first, it's now like the second one on the list in terms of how to use it. Uh, definitely, we'll keep that handy. Let's see. Register now, Canada only. Well, this is not Canada. Ah, register now, U.S. only. Uh, basically, how to register your stuff online. Be looking at that online. Let's see, something for Canon or the image.canon. Scan the barcode. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, it just looks like additional software. However, that's all well and good, but we're now at the start of the show. We've got. All right, I guess the camera will be last. We've got battery charger. All right, uh, we'll set that aside there. We've got one battery. We'll crack that bad boy open a little bit later. Interesting. Oh, okay. The opening for the, for the battery charger is semicircular, but the battery is rectangle. I mean, it does fit in there, I'm sure, but we'll find out what that's all about. Probably to help you grab the battery. Uh, we have a Canon strap. It's funny, with my Canon 60D, the strap was much wider than what you apparently are getting these days for the... And it used to specify what kind of camera you had. Fortunately, I have my own strap, so I will not be using that. And the camera is really not going to be leaving my place. This is not a walk around camera. This is definitely for my channel. 
So between the camera bag and the tripod, that's about it. And that's about it for what's inside the box. As far as the camera itself, all right it's uh definitely small i mean it fits in my hand but this is one of the reasons why i preferred the larger uh with my old 60d 70s 80s and now 90s it's a much bigger camera you get much more to grip onto but the rubberized grip actually gives you a pretty good grip i mean it's it's grippy <laughs> okay it's not going nowhere um wow it's kind of small your usual mold dial which is feels metal your on off switch nice solid clicks scroll well again feels metal nice good clicks in between uh, the hot shoe which they've seen other reviews talk about where it didn't have the center pin uh, so definitely if i were ever to use a flash i'd be using a canon flash with it menu info button and da -da, da -da, set little toggle switch flip out the lens here that's a three inch lens but it seems awfully small uh can adjust it can rotate it which is the important part so i can now see myself while i'm shooting my videos on the bottom now before i get to the bottom uh, let's see, HDMI ports on the side, and it looks like a standard USB 2 connector. Does not come with USB 3. On the other side would be for your microphone and your remote control, which I do have, but it's not my Canon. And where your battery goes here. Three battery goes. Also your SD card, which by the way, no, does not come with does not come with the camera. Okay, that SD slot, you gotta fill it with an SD card. You gotta buy that SD card separately. Nothing new, but still, you know, you figure they could have thrown in a little, little cheap SD card. Basically, that is it. Now I did indicate that I had my own lens for my old camera which was a Canon 60D. Uh, this one was a Sigma 18 to 18 to 250 lens. This was my walk around lens when I was doing a lot of street photography and line up the dots. And that's it. That is going to be the camera that I'm going to be using for my channel again this is not a how to use your camera what every little dial and feature is designed for this is primarily just a simple unboxing and a simple setup for live streaming but there we go Before we begin using the Canon EOS webcam utility, we first have to download the Canon webcam utility. So we uh, went over to the uh, Canon site and uh, from telling us how great uh, the software is. Uh, you Mac users, you're in luck, but I'm a Windows guy, so I'm using the Windows release. I should point out that after you've done the installation and have rebooted your PC, uh, don't go looking for any icons that you would normally use to start up a program because it's not going to be there. This program is going to work uh, only after you've started your streaming software. And in order for that to work, in the case of OBS, what we need to do is that we need to add a new source. So if we click Add and we select a new video capture device, uh, we're going to add a new device, and I'm going to give this one a name. Instead of device number two, we'll call it a SL2. I'll change it later, but there we go. Click OK. And then it gives you a few options. One, your device. I had been using uh, EasySoft, which worked pretty, very well, actually, but <laughs> cell phone only. So if we look 
and scroll and we find our EOS webcam utility and we select that. Uh, everything else you can leave as your default for the time being. You click OK. Camera turns on automatically and this is what you've got. Uh, I can actually make this a little bit larger. And there we go. You're now in the process of uh, getting ready to stream. All you need to do now is just um, go to uh, YouTube or uh, if you're a Facebook sort of guy, you can just go there. But in terms of YouTube, uh, set up your streaming uh, uh, configuration and you're off and running. <laughs> no more cell phone. You now got a real camera to do your live streams with. So there we go. That's my uh, take on an unboxing of a Canon uh, uh, EOS SL3 camera that I'm going to be using uh, for my recording and streaming. And uh, that's all there is to that. See you around.